Okay, guys, the title is When You Stop Doing This, The Right Woman Will Appear. Now, I'm going to assume if you're watching this video, you're a man who actually wants a significant relationship in your life. Let's even go as far as to say you would like a life partner. I want you to think about that for a moment. A life partner. What would it feel like to have the kind of person that's going to be, be your teammate, who's going to have your back, who's going to be there for you while you do the same for her? I like the way Chris Rock says, you know, relationships, you're in the service business and you're there to serve the other person. If you've reached that point in your life where you are ready for a significant relationship, if you are committed to commitment, then I want you to take heed with what I'm about to share with you. Because when you stop chasing sex or if you stop chasing someone to relieve your loneliness... Let me repeat that. You stop chasing someone to relieve your loneliness. You stop chasing sex. What happens is you approach the dating process completely different. You approach the process from a sense of alignment, from a sense of compatibility, from a sense of do we click with one another beyond the physical. Now, guys, I know this is really challenging to reach this place. Okay. And what I mean to say is we are biologically driven to be physically intimate with a person. we I mean, it's so hard for us to not be driven by our little head versus our big head. So it's no wonder it's a challenge. And many, many men believe that sex leads to commitment. In other words, through sex, we fall in love. In fact, I believe there's a saying, you know, men fall in love. Well, no, excuse me. Men fall in love through sex and women give sex to find love. Men Men have sex to find love, okay? I think that's the saying. Now, and while they're, while just like a broken clock, that's probably right twice a day, many of you men know that after physical intimacy and you've had what's called post-nut clarity, all of a sudden you're really evaluating the relationship for what it is. Now, I know this is hard to do. I know, believe me, I'm speaking from personal experience. But when you approach uh, a woman from the perspective of, do we share the same values? In other words, really lean into what values are most important to you. Do you start assessing, are our lifestyles compatible with one another? Certainly, if you're a younger person and your life is like a blank sheet of paper, that's rather easy. But if you're in your 40s, 50s, and 60s, Chances are you have a fully curated life. And when you're approaching someone from a romantic perspective, you have to ask yourself, can this person's life fit into my life? Can it blend in together? Can our lifestyles blend? Do we share the same vision for a future? Guys, I'm here to say, I know it's frustrating that a lot of women don't seem like they want a fully committed relationship. But if this is something what you want, then state it right up front. State that you want a life partner. State that you are committed to commitment and start approaching it from that perspective. Now, here's the challenge that many men and women have. Most men and women have weak emotional maturity and weak relation or poor relationship skills. Let me repeat that. Most humans have weak emotional maturity and poor relationship skills. The problem is many people are suffering from childhood wounds or adult traumas that have gone unhealed. And it surfaces when they're in relationship. You've heard the word triggered, right? When someone gets triggered, that's usually an unresolved thing from the past that surfaces up. So I'm inviting you all to do some work. In fact, I'm going to recommend two books that you get right now. I'm going to recommend you get the book the Hoffman process, the Hoffman process. This is a deep dive into healing your childhood wounds and adult traumas. In addition, I'm going to invite you to get the book Nonviolent Communication by Marshall Rosenberg. By the way, all the books I recommend are listed below under Jonathan Recommend Books. Why are these two books so critically important? Listen, what's the definition of insanity? It's doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. I'm inviting you to do some inner work to, to kind of uncover. Maybe you have a pattern. Maybe you're just straight out af afraid. Maybe you have a propensity to just chase 
connection just to relieve your loneliness. When you are disconnected from yourself and when you are operating from your lower chakra, or your little head, you won't meet the right person. It's virtually almost impossible. You might get into a relationship, you might have sex with someone, but that doesn't mean you're going to have the kind of relationship you seek. Okay. So I'm inviting you to do the inner work. Stop listening to the red pill community that says it's all feminist movement problem and their women are not submitting to men. Guys, it's time for you to stand in your power. And the best way to stand in your power is to operate from your heart and not from your little head and operate from a full heart, meaning you're not coming from a place of loneliness. If you haven't read my book, What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? A Journey of Personal Development, Self-Help, and Spiritual Work, I highly recommend reading my book. Um, and again, all the books I recommend below. Hey, is this sinking in? Is this resonating with you? If it is, I'd like to hear your thoughts. Post a comment below. As always, if you find value in my videos, please hit that like button. Please share this video. Please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be notified of new videos. And if you want to connect with me directly, there's links below to schedule a call with me to see if working with a coach is right for you and to join my many groups. All right, I'm going to wrap up this video by saying thanks for listening. Wishing you a wonderful day. Be well. Bye now.